Pull up, pull up, and welcome back to your health light. Welcome back, health family. Let's take a deep breath in through our nose and blow out through our mouth. Today, we're going to have an overview of Black History Month in a very general way. If you're black, your history begins with great accomplishments, proof of energy, mindsets, innovators, doctors, the list goes on and on. If you know Imhotep, you know Kemet, you know Kush, you've that is where you need to check. This is ancient history, black ancient history. Moving fast forward from that, it is unreasonable to assume that any one person knows all of the collaborators in history. However, we can find that individuals either make history, write about history, research history, there's a variety of people who are involved in history in the different ways. So now, how do, we, how do we know if it's true or not? I had a teacher, his name is Mr. McBride, and we had a cultural class and he showed us how to do it. What he did is he put a newspaper clipping on the board and he, the newspaper clipping said something like, dogs not, need not apply. And he asked the class, who was that ad for? And we all agreed and we concurred that it was for black people. Dogs need not apply for a job. Surprisingly, Mr. McBride said it did not, that, that clipping was not intended for black people. It was for the Irish because of the experiences that Irish received through American history. That is how they formulated and created what we know as St. Patrick's Day. They utilize that as a form of galvanizing people to get together. Not, not everybody's going to get together because we do know this in history. We know people have been historically wise, I'm saying, that we know that people who may share a same color may not be agreeable on the same note. They could also be involved as being infiltrators. And again, I, I know this because of history that I've collected. Historical collaborators, they are journalists, they are fact finders, they are just detectives of finding out the truth about what happened. It could have been a year ago or it could have been thousands and thousands of years ago. And the humble beginnings of black people shows that there's proof and there's documents that everybody goes to Africa to search and dig the archives, to archive and get together all of these findings from ancient Egypt as we know it as Kemet. Queen of Zynga, Candace, the pharaohs, Imhotep, these are some of the players involved in Black history. Now, moving fast forward, let us review this just briefly. There was a black Puerto Rican historian who was a visionary, and he had a great understanding of why it was important to accumulate and preserve black history and the variety of documents and archives that was dug in Africa. His name is Arturo Alfonso Schoenberg. In New York, in Harlem, he formulated and actually is the founder of the Schoenberg Library, which is where most of these historians actually hung out in order to get the history. Besides that, they went to go to the countries, namely Africa, to find out the truth of the matter. For instance, the Moors migrated to Spain and they deployed their intellectual knowledge, their vision, their experience as to building homes, as to caring on a medical level for people to be able to keep healthy. That is the Moors. 
Another thing that one might not know is that in Ethiopia, people, they migrated into India. So India, yes, they do have Indians, but they're black too as well. They are from Africa. And they're the ones that actually began yoga. That is for another video. I'm not going to get too deep into that. I'm just showing you by digging and digging, you find out a lot of things based off of proof and document. That is the key. It's not my word. It's not my opinion. It's not what I think. It's not what I believe. It is documented proof being accompanied with certain things such as um, archaeologists digging out all these things that I'm saying. Anyhow, let's get back to Schomburg Library. So you have Arturo, Arthur Alfonso Schoenberg. He developed a place as a historian, as an activist, and as a writer, and as a collector for black history. Then you have Carter G. Whitson, another phenomenal man. He is the one that impact the world in this way. He first started out in 1926, the Negro History Week. That's how it actually began. Then it moved into Black History Month. He is known as a historian or author and also a journalist. And I'm also noticing most of these historians, they happen to have some journalistic experience and knowledge, which is by, of course, collaborating and getting current events. That event at that time is now known as history. His base, basic perception very similar to Arthur Schoenberg, which is to preserve and to improve better understanding of black history. How do I know that Booker T. Washington received money from Andrew Carnegie? And as we know, Booker T. Washington is another great great historic, historical figure because of the life that he led and the courage that he had to impact the world. I know it because of an historian from Georgia. His name is William or Bill Mackey. He says it so well in one of his videos. What he says is the following. Dignity, divinity, and destiny. That's what I remember about. Again, some of these videos, I'm just going to put it inside the description box so you could get a clearer picture of what I'm saying. I'm not going to be able to cover all the historians. I'm just covering just a few, just to give you a, a, a brief synopsis of history. Ancient history is covered by, by a variety of historians. You have uh, Dr. Ivan Van Sertiman. He's the one that's he, he communicated about ancient history. He also is the one that unfolded in history about how black people was in the United States of America way before slavery. And that is the point. It had to be proven. It had to be. We had to get documents and archival history and people had to support this information with proof unchangeable undoubtable unmitigated proof in order to serve the purpose so that history can be documented correctly dr john henry clark he is the one that shows a phenomenal amount of information. I mean, his information is so widespread. It's about Marcus Garvey. It's about so many people. It's just phenomenal what that man did in his lifetime as a historian with his certain messages as he's going through life digging up history. He also visited Africa and he also brought back proof in order to substantiate a lot of the information I'm saying right now. That is how I know about Malcolm X, about Malcolm X and the type of man that he was and how he was able, not only from him, but also his books, the autobiography of Malcolm X, where I do know for a fact that he became 
more or less a non meat eater and his health was superb. He also is another person that is the active player in history. So he made history. A phenomenal amount of people traveled and requested him to visit their schools and universities for him to talk. Isn't that wonderful? A man from such turmoil beginnings ends up knowing the entire dictionary and vocabulary, knowing all these vocabulary words that he's called to explain and elaborate on certain points of view. Also, he was in uh, Harlem, New York. In Harlem, New York is where he had a lot of people attend and visit different venues that he was, that he was gonna be appearing. In general, people throughout the world who are black, they can be separated because of language and they could be separated either by distance. These are all facts, but very important to note and report the historians, they were never ever in a situation where they, they actually did collaborate with each other. They put the pieces of history together. In fact, uh, Dr. John Henry Clark, he writes about a variety of people who collaborated with him from Jamaica. And also, as we all know about Marcus Messiah Garvey. Much of this, these videos has been inspired by a variety of historians who sourced out information, who took time. They were journalists, they were writers, they were authors, and they're fact finders. Black people's history has multi-dimensional with energy, integrity, scientific brain power, with high regard to spirituality, health and wellness, mind, body, and spirits. As widely accepted in truth because of historical findings and reports, not all black people, they're gonna collaborate for the same reasons. Some will be infiltrators. Some will not view the picture as you do. This is a report, a widely accepted report regarding an article. Take the time now, subscribe, touch the bell, share these videos. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Touch the like, help these videos to circulate YouTube and take care of yourself. Till the next video.